Hi Taurus, welcome to your September Singles Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Taurus, we're going to be taking a look at singles and see what is going on for you. So we're going to be taking a look at your energy and the energy around you at this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. If you feel like um, energies need to be reversed, you definitely can do that if you would like to. So welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and happy at this time. All right, Taurus. So we're going to see uh, you know, what will be coming in for you. Now, it could be something returning from the past. It could be someone you're dating, getting to know right now. Or it could be somebody totally new coming into your energy. So again, you'll have to take it how it resonates for you. There will be an extended reading, Taurus. And the cards that you see me placing over on the side there are for your extended reading. You can find all that information down below along with the links and everything else you need to know about me in this channel. In the extended reading, I'm doing something a little bit different. We're only going to be looking at new love. So if something comes out here you're not interested in or it doesn't resonate for you, but you are interested in new love only. So new love is not about exes coming back or someone you have no interest in. It could be about someone that maybe uh, you've known in a friendship and now it's turning romantic. Someone, again, like you're dating, getting to know or somebody totally new coming into your energy so if this reading you know something comes up and you're like i don't want that person back blah 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 then it's probably not your reading you know and just because your sign name is on this reading doesn't mean it's for you you don't have to accept it you don't have to claim it so just listen and follow to your intuition all right taurus let us see what we have for you it's singles so we have mother healing as your feelings towards your mother heal your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately and we have worthiness know that you deserve to receive good in all ways so some of you could be a single parent um maybe some of you did have issues with a parent a mother and uh, maybe you know your mother didn't always make you feel like you were good enough or you were worthy enough and this is telling you that you are good and you are worthy and you do deserve everything that the universe wants to give to you also and some of you maybe if you are a single mother you know maybe you're feeling like you know maybe you know and children are blessing and maybe you know you need to realize that not that you don't i'm not saying that but um maybe some of you are feeling like oh i'm a single parent and i'm never going to fi find real true love and that kind of energy but you are worthy somebody will love and appreciate you and your children if that is your story if that is your case so let's see here different energies so um, take it how it resonates for you so we have milky way perspective we have lotus flower unfoldment and we have pink energy pink to me is always about new energy new love and this is about you know changing our perspective um coming you know finding the light in the darkness um it could have been a very dark situation for you whatever your situation was and now that you're single but know that you know something's unfolding for you the universe has something special for you also a lot of pink energy here so something definitely new coming in for you in some way shape or form all right taurus so let's take a look at your energy and then we'll take a look at the energy around you for taurus and that milky way is like cosmic energy something you see the swirling motion here something uh, manifesting here for you all right taurus what do we need to know what is taurus's energy right now for taurus please thank you so much for taurus oh strike see you are strong courageous and brave you are worthy you could have something from past life coming back also with the infinity symbol there this could be something you've endured through many lifetimes. Oh, I got a bunch of cards that flipped. That's way too many. Way too many. It's like eight cards. All right. That's Leo energy. So we have Leo in their chart. All right. Knight of Swords. 
that has been showing up a lot. It's Aquarius energy. That can be about taking, you know, kind of reckless movement without thinking. Um, let's see what that is about. Four of Pentacles. So that is about, you know, staying stable and grounded. And it can be about holding back. Strength can be about holding back also. I almost feel like you're holding back from rushing into somebody. Maybe because you don't feel worthy or good enough for some reason. All right. Let's see. Let's get one more here. The Hermit. Definitely single in Hermit mode. A lot of thinking, healing, contemplating, trying to find the path, the way, the light. I think, you know, Hermit can hold back too. So a lot of holding back here. But there's a sense of wanting to move something forward or rush into something. Um, Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be Aries energy. So not feeling, you know, you're not, maybe you're not feeling strong, fiery, or passionate like your usual self. But now we have the King of Pentacles. This could be someone that you see very stable, grounded, someone that you could, <laughs> I'm feeling like someone you see that could be your, like, ultimate, perfect husband or wife, whatever it is for you, would make a stable, grounded, loyal partner. But I feel like you don't feel like you're good enough for them, Taurus, for some reason. I mean, that could be your energy. That could be Virgo, but it very well could be your energy, Taurus energy here. Male or female doesn't matter. Because I kind of see them looking down. Like, oh, hum, you know, like, oh, you know, I just don't. Yeah, five of cups, like, oh, just kind of blah. Oh, Taurus. All right. So let's see the energy around you. I think the universe is saying you are worthy. Something could unfold here. So let's see what the energy is around you, Taurus. Six of pentacles. Somebody that, um, you know, could reciprocate very well with you. All right. Equal energy exchange. Nine of cups. Somebody definitely single. This I'm feeling like a single, happy-go-lucky, um, energetic kind of person. Maybe a good sense of humor kind of energy also. I'm definitely single. They could overindulge a little bit. Maybe uh, they overeat a little bit or they overdrink sometimes. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, we have a match. If, you know, and the Nine of Cups can be about wish fulfillment, a dream come true. So if you're feeling like you're not good enough for them, they definitely are thinking about you. This Queen of Pentacles can be you. For me, it's Capricorn, but it can be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So they're definitely thinking of you. C was wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. And would like to be in an equal kind of partnership with you. But you don't feel like you're good enough for them. So there's a lot of holding back. A part of you wants them to rush into you. And a part of you wants to rush into them. But I kind of feel like no one's really taking action right now. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> Nothing's moving forward right now. And just as I said that, that flew out in reverse. Because usually the Wheel of Fortune is about fate, destiny, divine timing, something meant to be, getting better, going in the right direction. Moving forward, but something is not moving forward. It's kind of at a standstill. This can be Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. So something is not moving right now. Nobody's really taking action. I can see them really wanting to make an offer, but they're not. All right, for some reason. Why is that moon? So they could be keeping their feelings uh, secret or they're not sure how you feel. Um, also, maybe they don't know you have children and maybe you're afraid to tell them that. And maybe they feel like you're keeping something from them, but then they're not sure what it is. Pisces energy here, that's feminine energy. That can be, you know, secrets, illusion, fear. But all will be illuminated. Okay, come on, that's too much. What else here? Trusting intuition. 
10 of cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Nine to 10 of cups on their side. Whoever this is, they could see ultimate fulfillment with you, but they feel like there's something about you that's very secretive that they don't know. Five of swords. They don't want any kind of conflict. They don't want to sabotage this in any kind of way. So that's probably why they are not making any moves right now. All right. They could have fear of sabotaging something that could be really, really happy. Page of Wands. There's a communication. Fire energy, like good news, communication. They're wanting to do that, but they're not because they don't want to sabotage the energy here. They feel like there's something about you that they don't know or something. It could be that you have children. I'm not sure. Um, all right. What else here? So I don't know. I know maybe you work with this person and that you don't really know much about each other. Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. So a lot of fire, passion, attraction here with the Ace of Wands. That's a new beginning. And we have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. This could be spirituality, faith, religion, higher levels in all forms. This could be someone that could be a boss, uh, someone who's on a higher level. They could be very religious, spiritual. They could be a teacher. They could be um, a manager, something of that effect also. All right, that's Taurus energy. That's your energy. So they're definitely thinking about you. Six of Wands and Seven of Cups. So they're not sure if they make an offer here, if it would be successful. So they're a little confused. Seven of Cups, not sure what to do, whether to make a move, to make an offer, to extend out an invite or something like that. You know, usually you can't date, <laughs> you know, managers or like coworkers or, or maybe they don't work in like the same department as you or something like that. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Needs to be some honest conversation here. Uh, I, I just want to see if there's anything else we need to know here from Spirit. Any el anything else we need to know here? Please, thank you so much about this. Maybe not. Empress, wow. So again, Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. So... Maybe you both are like managers or something. Maybe you're like of the same ranking, but there's not a lot that you know about each other. If that makes any sense, Libra Taurus energy here. But somebody definitely, soulmate, twin flame energy here with the four of wands, dating, getting to know. Ceremony, celebration, page of pentacles. Someone wants to extend out an offer. The sun and the moon, we have feminine, masculine energy here. Enlightenment, healing, happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, happy home and family, children, children showing up again here. Someone's been through a lot, nine of ones, perseverance, maybe somebody's been divorced. Someone again wants to take action, Cupid's arrows here, but they're unsure. They're unsure if they should or not. They, they feel like there's, I don't know, they feel unsure, like there's something secretive or something they don't know about you so it could be that it's that you have a child or children or maybe they feel like oh well, maybe they know you do maybe some of they think you're married or in a relationship but you're not but they feel a lot of uh, chemistry towards you fulfillment like it's fate and destiny oh boy all right so let's see definitely feel like there's something secretive about you there's a lot of holding back so let's see what spirit has to say. These are signs from spirit, love oracle from Mystic Moon. Let's see what they have to say. Or, oh my goodness, okay. 
So table gathering. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to date, get to know, but we have black, lack, rebellion, pessimism. So there's like a black hole here, like a mystery. Like they just don't know, but we have hummingbird here, sweetness. So definitely new energy again. A lot of sweet energy here. And this could be your energy. Um, if this does resonate for you, maybe not, maybe feeling a little pessimistic, like not worthy or good enough, or you won't be good enough. We have a matching couple here, king and queen of pentacles. This, we saw the uh, sun, the moon, masculine, feminine energy. All right, what else here for Taurus? balloon freedom so i definitely feel like we have two people here that are completely single and free earn mourning so somebody recently could have just had a passing or ending of a situation rainbow renewal luck expansion growth deep love here with the deep red this could turn to deep love for some, it could be same sex. doesn't have to be. So we have here names, energy, alignment. So someone's name could have M in it or any of these letters in these words could mean, um, you know, if you're, you or your person have these letters in your name, in these words, names, energy, and alignment. And we have 333 three, three, Trinity, mind, body, soul. You're in the zone. Express your true authentic self. Yeah. Somebody does, just needs to come out and um, say something here. Chills, confirmation. So if somebody has chills, confirmation for you. And there's that whole mystery that I was just speaking of. This is the card I was thinking of when I saw that. Like somebody sees somebody else as a mystery. Like something is a secret. Oh, Taurus. All right. So if this didn't resonate for you, Taurus, or you're interested in a new love also, you can find the links below. I'll show you these for your extended. And um, in the extended here, we're going to look into who is this person, their energy, um, who, how, when, where you may meet them, what that energy between the two of you would be like, advice, guidance for you. And I'm going to reshuffle this deck and we'll pull more of these towards the new love energy. So for that here, we have self-employment. Hmm, somebody could own their own business here. We have consult and expert. We have rain, purification. It was just raining here like really heavy like a couple hours ago. And we have stillness lake. So we have rain, purification, and stillness lake. Hmm, interesting. All right, Taurus. So if you would like to go, the extended links are below. So if you go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many, many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.